Okay, let us move to chapter 3, Utility Companies and Energy Supply. When investigating the subject energy supply, it is necessary energy is delivered. Macam mana kita hantar energy to the consumer. In general, most fossil facility consume one or more of the following fuels. Biasanya ada, kita ada oil, coal, natural gas and electricity punya energy. Natural gas and electricity are delivered to consumers by utility companies via extensive pipe and cable infrastructure. So, kalau di negara-negara maju, gas, natural gas ni atau gas asli ni, dia hantar ke rumah-rumah melalui pipe, direct to uh, the houses. And electricity, macam electricity lah, dia hantar terus ke rumah melalui cable. By contrast, coal and oil are purchased to the open market and require vehicular delivery and storage. So, untuk coal dengan minyak, minyak mentah, dia menggunakan pengangkutan maknanya macam lori, kapal and they need uh, storage facilities uh. these two, regular deliver and storage deliver storage facilities each fuel therefore has its own set of peculiarities and limitation so ada dia punya uh, limit tertentu lah kalau piping ada limit dia Kabel pun eh, macam electricity uh, Bila dia hantar Dia menggunakan kabel Voltan tinggi Dan uh, this This strongly influence both usage And energy cost And because of this way of uh, Transporting Dia akan uh, Mempengaruhi Cara digunakan dan juga Energy cost And some fuels such as natural gas are unavailable in many location because near nearby there, there's no pipeline nearby ya. so kalau macam dekat Malaysia ni natural gas kita tak dihantar melalui pipeline kita banyak guna tong tangki so uh, it is mobile but it is not uh, apa? sometimes it's inconvenient lah. kalau tangki tu dah habis you nak kena tukar kan Uh, so this is uh, other limitation kalau pipeline tu you can use it most of the time 24 hours a day 7 days a week and other fuels such as coal and oil, oil are perceived as dirty and difficult to handle uh, this one is not only difficult to handle because of the flammable mudah terbakar dan susah nak dijaga sebab kotor and also required considerable storage space dan dia perlu storage ya macam coal dia perlu dia punya storage macam oil kita tahu dia guna tangki ya kebanyakan tangki ni pula is a very apa kena safe tangki lah tak boleh tangki yang biasa-biasa sebab dia mudah terbakar kan since all these factors influence energy cost eh? because of this cara pengangkutan dan cara storage it will mempengaruhi energy cost it is important to be familiar with the cost associated with each type of fuel and fuel and energy cost can be categorized as the other two genes one is we call it as direct cost ni associate with the purchase of the fuel masa beli fuel tu another one is indirect cost this one associated with the use of the fuel macam mana kita guna Money termasuk transportation and all that and another one is uh, ini yang ramai orang tak nampak indirect environmental cost uh, environmental cost ni sebenarnya nak jaga oil-oil tu need uh, many safety issues and many issues regarding environment uh, that is why sometimes the cost can be high because of the environmental issues Direct fuel costs are those costs specifically associated with the purchase of your fuel, such as unit energy charges, standing charges, and indirect costs are those 
costs associated with storage and handling storage and handling of fuel such as coal and oil indirect environmental, environmental costs also exist ini ramai tak nampak but it exists but the end user does not always perceive their existence kita tak perasan uh, sebab dalam bil elektrik pun sebenarnya ada benda ni dia panggil uh, I, uh, IPR IFR CFR saya tak ingat nanti saya tunjukkan ok but this one exists in the bill but just that they don't explain what it is and then environmental costs can take an obvious form such as environmental tax ha, ni kalau di setengah negara ada environmental tax on fossil fuel consumption ok so maknanya fuel ni ada environmental cost so you have to be careful about that eh? However, it is more often the case that environmental costs are absorbed and distinguished within the cost. Uh, because environmental costs ni tak nampak sebab dia dah masukkan terus dalam cost of fuel. For example, an electricity company is required to invest in expensive desulfurization equipment. Uh, kalau electricity company macam TNB, dia perlu beli alat desulfurization equipment eh, to clean up the generating plan eh? plan apa plan yang uh, menghasilkan elektrik eh? and it will probably pass the environmental related cost to its customer customer ni siapa kita lah user in the form of higher energy prices ini yang menyebabkan bill elektrik atau tarif elektrik di Malaysia naik turun uh, because of this dia beritahu pada kerajaan kerajaan beri keputusan ok dah tak ada choice this is expensive you have to buy this one then dia kata ok because of that the uh, tarif kena naik eh, kalau kalau minyak naik pun harga elektrik pun akan naik eh, gas natural gas naik pun harga elektrik naik because the power plant is using this fuel eh, to generate the electricity